When I was 11 or 12 years old, I met this dude and we became really good friends and we started a hardcore band when I was like in middle school. And it was a really amazing feeling because I remember I had first found like screamo music and fucking or whatever the fuck you want to call it, heavy metal, right? Uh, like hardcore music. And I was so intrigued by it and I was so happy that I found something that I had become so passionate about. And I remember I wanted to be a screamer so bad. So I would do whatever it took to you know, make that my reality. And started hanging out with a bunch of different people that were in bands. And then I ended up starting a band um, when I was like 12 years old. And you guys know Pablo. Pablo is my video guy. He does all my high quality content for like my Instagram. He's on the podcast with me. He was actually the guitar player in that band. And, you know, I was in that band and a few other bands. We're talking from age, I don't know, 12 to like 19. And I played hundreds of hardcore shows for, for you know, we're talking big crowds, like 100, five, sometimes 500 plus people, right? And while I was in this band, I learned something about myself in that. I learned that I, w I had this almost like creative drive that was dying to get out. And I realized that it almost like wasn't up to me. It was like, I had this thing embedded in me where I had to express it and it, it had to come out no matter what. And this is actually funny because this is about the time where I, I was first exposed to like other people that were like heavily tattooed because I would go to shows and you know, I was young. I was fucking really young. We're talking 13, 14, um, playing hardcore shows and I would see people with tattoos. And that's actually when I first started to like tell myself like, oh, one day I want to be tattooed. I, I didn't end up getting my first tattoo till age 25, but I knew when I started to play shows and when I was on stage um, and the feeling that I had when I would play shows and hold the microphone and fucking, you know, peep, you know, Crowds of people fucking from, you know, different parts of different, different states even, or different parts of Pennsylvania that knew about us that were like really far away and they heard our shit. It was just crazy because this was before Instagram, you know, this is before we had fucking really any of that shit. And we were, you know, I was, you know, we were on MySpace and Facebook and shit like that. So it's kind of crazy to think about. Um, and, and I realized, you know, that there's a lot of people because I would play these shows and then I would go back to school, you know, play a show on the weekend and then go to school on the fucking weekdays or, or Monday after that. And um, I realized that, you know, it was rare what we were doing, like playing concerts and fucking dressing the way we dressed and being into the shit that we were into. It was rare because a lot of kids were like playing sports. And a lot of kids were doing a bunch of other shit. You know, they weren't in band. They weren't playing hardcore shows, you know, at you know the age that we were at. So it was really rare. But I started to realize this about other people is that people would come up to me and they would say, you know, I want to I want to start a band or, you know, I wish I could do that and all this shit. And I realized I was like, it was never like, I never felt like, you know, I always felt like it was possible to, to, to be in a band and, and dress the way I wanted to and do the things that I wanted to and have tattoos. I never thought that it would be impossible. I always thought that hell was like not being able to live your truth. I always felt that not being able to authentically express yourself, like that's actually what hell is for me. And, you know, I, I love music and I loved being in the band and the band ended up breaking up. Everyone that was in the band ended up growing up and, you know, finding their different career paths. Um, you know, Pablo obviously started his own business. I ended up starting my own business. The rest of the members, you know, went off and did their own thing, started families or what have you. And the band ended up breaking up. And we, you know, the last show I played was like, I was 19. So that was like almost 10 years ago. It's crazy to think about. And, you know, I found my new passion, which was, you know, bodybuilding and was, uh, you know, training. And 
that was kind of like my my passion for like the next we'll say fucking seven to ten years you know it kind of those those two time periods definitely eclipsed like i was in the band started to work out fell more in love with working out than i did the band um and then you know uh, you know of course years and years later working a bunch of bullshit fucking jobs at age 25 i ended up quitting the workforce and starting my own business and i've been an entrepreneur ever since but that feeling has never left me that feeling of creativity and that inner um that inner kind of calling to express myself authentically and never fucking stop and always show people who I really am and not not for myself necessarily but to kind of be a beacon of light for people and show them that you can do whatever the fuck you want in this life like within reason right um especially if it's for a good cause you know I always felt like I always felt like this world was just you know I could do anything you know um and I, I also, I, you know, I also have to thank my mom for that because my mom definitely, you know, she raised me very well. She always told me, you know, anything's possible. Like you, you could, you know, there's there's a lot of potential out there in the world. You, you know, you could basically do, you could be anybody, right? You just, you decide, right? So I thank her for that. But um, I, saw the, I saw that in my real life because I really did practice that. I really did try different things and and say okay i like this and i don't like this and and decided who the fuck i was and i just i urge you guys to really understand like how important it is to do that because that's the whole reason i started my business like a lot of times i have these moments in my life where i sit there and i can't even believe my life like actually um you know the money i make you know the freedom i have the tattoos, like, I just, I love, you know, I love pretty much everything about my life and, you know, what my job is, being a fitness coach, being a business coach, running the clothing company. I'm really lucky to be in the position. I wouldn't say lucky, more fortunate. I don't really believe in luck, honestly, because I worked for this position, obviously, but it's crazy to think about. And I, and I urge you to understand that, like, everybody has that. Everybody has that fucking inner drive that inner authenticity that needs to be expressed it's not even really up to you like that's what a lot of people don't understand is they think it's well i'm just not gonna do it i'm not going to follow my dreams but you have to understand that that shit will gnaw at you get what i'm saying and, and this doesn't this doesn't mean you have to start a business right this doesn't mean you have to be in a band this doesn't mean you have to fucking get tattoos this is just what i wanted to do do you get what i'm saying this is just that's just the examples of, of, of what I did in my own life to express myself and really live out my fucking truth. And you have to do the same thing. Guys, when I started my business, although there were so many hard moments and times where I felt uncertain, the thing about it is that I knew it was my destiny. So even when times were hard, even when things felt uncertain or like I was having a bad month or I was having a bad week or whatever the fuck I'm, whatever, whatever I'm experiencing, I can sit back and know that it's all part of the process because I know this is exactly where I'm supposed to fucking be. And not a lot of people can say that. And that's fucking everything, guys. Like, this business fitness, social media, and then using it to my advantage and understanding the actual power behind it and really just accepting the, like, the reality of the world. I urge you all to do that. I urge you all to accept the fact that you are meant for something greater. You're meant for something more. Even if, I mean, a lot of you guys, you don't even understand, like I'm, I'm 28, it's a process. Like, just because you're fucking my age or, or younger and you're not where you want to be yet, that doesn't mean that you give up. That doesn't mean that your story is over. It just means that this is part of your fucking story. And you have to accept it. You have to move past it. You have to move through it. Just the way it is, guys. So, always express yourself authentically. You know, I wanted to talk about when I was in a band because I wanted to show you guys that, you know, I never let anything hold me back. 
I always express myself the way. Yeah, of course I got, of course I got made fun of in fucking middle school for the way I looked and the way I dressed and you know being in a band and all this shit. And, and, and at the end of the day, it's because I was going my own way even back then, at age fifteen. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's the ultimate freedom. That's the ultimate measure of success is if you can live life on your own fucking terms. So guys, um, if this video resonated with you, fuck yeah, that's awesome. I'm happy that it did. Um, if you wanna work with me one-on-one -on -one to build your coaching business, uh, guys, I don't work with everybody. The types of people I like to work with for my uh, online coaching business are people who are already in shape, people who are powerlifters, bodybuilders, crossfitters, MMA fighters, the guys that are already in shape and can coach other people to get in shape. Um, if you are, don't have the skill to be able to actually coach someone with nutrition, training, mindset, accountability, like if you can't do that, then I can't help you. But if you can, and you wanna leave your nine to five, or you're not making the money that you want in your business and you wanna scale it, you can apply below, I can help you out. Regardless, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys subscribing and following and never let that part of you die. Never stop nurturing it and always remember that <clears throat> that authentic voice needs to come out whether you like it or not. No victim.